everyone good morning absolutely stunning morning out here I'm in the marsh right now I came out initially to hopefully photograph some ducks that I've been looking for but uh, on my way out to the area with the ducks I noticed that there's a lot of other birds out here a whole different cast of characters than I'm used to so I'm actually gonna spend some time photographing these guys because uh, there's some species in here that I've been wanting to photograph for a while now. I just haven't really had the opportunities to do so. So I'm going to spend some time uh, more in this area of the marsh rather than the area I was headed out to for those ducks. Uh, it's getting a little late, a little too bright to uh, get into position for those ducks anyway. So uh, I'm going to spend some time photographing some of these birds in here and I'll uh, talk about them with you here in a little bit. I think it's going to be really tricky getting the pictures that I'm hoping for this morning and I'll explain why in a little bit here but let's get into position and hopefully start getting some pictures here. All right this is where I'm going to set up here this morning. I've got this little body of water here behind me as well as these reeds here next to me so I'm going to set up I think just right in here uh, where I can shoot out over the water. When I got here this morning, I noticed that there were some swallows flying over the water. And I've been wanting to photograph swallows for a long time now. I just haven't put the time into doing so. Uh, so I'm hoping the swallows come back. They've moved off out onto the water a little bit. So I'm hoping that they'll come back a little bit and that I'll be able to get some pictures of them. The reason that I'm gonna set up in the reeds uh, is just to give myself a little bit of cover. Swallows, from my experience, generally aren't flighty of people. I mean, they'll come right up to you as they're flying around. Uh, but when I was watching the swallows this morning, I noticed off in the reeds over here, I heard some bluebirds. And uh, again, based on my experience, bluebirds are extremely flighty around people, around humans. So. I'm just gonna set up in the reeds to give myself a little bit of cover, hopefully, uh, which hopefully will help the bluebirds to feel a little bit more comfortable and uh, help me to be able to stay a little bit more hidden as I try to photograph them if they come in a little bit closer. There's also a lot of birds here behind me on the water's edge. There's some killdeer. I've seen some avocets, some um, stilts. I've got an osprey perched up on a stick just in the water out here. So there's plenty of birds out here that I'm hoping to photograph this morning. All just beautiful, beautiful species. So I'm going to get set up in the reeds and just sit and wait and see what I can photograph. I've got the swallows starting to come back in just over the water here in front of me. Now this is something I wouldn't even be attempting if I didn't have direct sunlight to work with. I've got a lot of just beautiful light to work with today. I'm in the shade right now where I'm posted up, but out on the water here where the swallows are, I've got a lot of light to work with. And the reason I wouldn't attempt this if I didn't have this light is I mentioned earlier that this might be a really difficult challenge photographing these swallows. And the reason being, if you've never seen a swallow before, I mean, they're just these teeny little birds and they're fast, they're really quick. And as they go over the water, they're diving in and out, um, you know, picking stuff up off the surface of the water. And they change directions just sporadically, really quickly. And they're hard to track as you're photographing them. And because they're so fast, you're gonna need a really, really fast shutter speed so you don't have a lot of blur in your images. So I'm up at 1 4,000th of a second as I photograph these guys. And if I had any less light than I do now, I wouldn't be able to get the shutter speeds that I need to photograph them. So, uh, you know, I saw the opportunity today, beautiful light. They're out here flying around. I ditched my other plans and I'm out here photographing these guys. And let me just say, 
it is hard. <laughs> it's extremely challenging photographing these guys. Uh, I haven't been able to check all my images yet, uh, or most of them, but uh, you know, my rate of getting sharp images, the ratio, it's, it's not like it usually is. So um, I'm just gonna try to get as many pictures as I can of these guys and fingers crossed, hopefully come away with some, some sharp images. But uh, you know, this is great, great practice for me. So I'm gonna keep at it and I'll keep you guys updated. So my technique to try to photograph these guys this morning, because they're so small, uh, you know, I've got these swallows just kind of all over the place. I've got some flying pretty close in front of me and I've got some quite a bit farther out. So just to practice tracking them, get used to their movements as I photograph them, their patterns, because they do have a, a pattern as they fly around, even though they're dipping in and out, um, they do have a pretty established pattern in this water in front of me of, you know, they go up one side, they'll turn around, come back the other, all the while kind of sporadically dipping in and out, but th there is a fairly loose pattern here. So as I photograph them, rather than focusing right away on the ones here right in front of me and trying to track them, I'm photographing the ones a little bit further out first. Uh, just so I can make sure I've got them in my frame as I photograph them. I've got more wiggle room to work with and uh, I start tracking them there and then as they start coming towards me that's you know I've already got them in the frame that's when I start photographing them a little bit closer. I found it's incredibly difficult to just right off the bat try to find and f focus in on one flying here right right in front of me so again I'm starting off with them as they're further out and then as they come in closer that's when I get my more close-up images even so these guys are so small you know I'm not getting these full frame images of these swallows which I'm fine with the water this morning has just a beautiful color to it and so I'm I'm getting some pretty fun images here I think but like I said earlier, the ratio of sharp images to uh, not sharp images, <laughs> out of focus images, um, it's a lot different than my usual hit rate for pictures. So I'm just taking as many pictures as I can here, getting some excellent practice with these guys. I, it's been so fun so far. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the technique that I'm using to try to photograph these guys this morning and it seems to be working for me. So uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you photographed swallows in flight before, what methods do you like using to photograph these guys? Because it is incredibly difficult. These are some of the most challenging birds that I've ever photographed before. Some of the most cha challenging wildlife that I've ever photographed before. Again, just because they're so small and they're so quick. So I'd love to hear from you guys. What uh, techniques do you use as you photograph swallows in flight or just smaller birds in flight. Love to hear from you guys. All right, I've shifted positions a little bit, not because of the swallows. I've actually moved away from the swallows because the bluebirds came back in. I'm just kind of all over the place this morning, a little distracted by all these cool birds. I'll be photographing one and I'll see something else and shift over and start trying to photograph it. But the bluebirds came back in, so I moved away from the swallows and uh, I'm trying to get some of these, these bluebirds as they're here and then I'll move back to the swallows once they've moved off again. But these bluebirds are extremely flighty and so I'm just kind of posted up behind these reeds here and I've been able to get some pictures of them. 
uh, just kind of more portrait images posted up on some taller reeds or uh, on some sticks, some taller uh, grass and, and whatnot. And they are just absolutely stunning birds. I don't know if you can hear them. They've got a really cool call, which they've stopped doing, of course, because I mentioned it. But um, yeah, they're just these really, really pretty birds, just very vibrant blue, the males are. So I've got some pictures of them and I'm gonna gonna keep at it with them. It's It's been a lot of fun. Those swallows that I was photographing, it's actually easier to get pictures of them than video. I was trying to get some, some video footage of them so you could see them kind of dipping down above the water there, but it's extremely difficult to get video of them. But I was able to get some video of some other birds that are kind of coming around, some stilts, uh, some killdeer, uh, just different things like that. So. Oh, and there's a harrier right here. You might see it fly behind me. Nope. Anyways, um, yeah, there's just a lot of birds around right now. So I'm going to quit talking and uh, show you guys some of these, these fun birds that I'm photographing. All right, I'm gonna call it a day, I think. Um, kind of move on, see what other animals I can find, what other birds I can find. I had such a fun time out here with these swallows and the bluebirds this morning. Bluebirds moved off pretty quick, but I got a little bit of footage of them, and the swallows have moved pretty far out onto the water where they're just so small in the frame. Um, I don't really feel like it's worth waiting and just photographing these these teeny little birds in the frame but I was able to get some images that I'm really happy with I did check some of them and um, I'm quite happy with them so I'm pretty excited about that I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video like I mentioned I was going out to hopefully photograph ducks this morning but I saw an opportunity jumped all over it because it's something different something I've been wanting to do for a while now uh, these swallows and the bluebirds and these other awesome birds that I was able to photograph and you know I just had a blast out here this morning so I hope you guys enjoyed I didn't get as much video footage as I usually try to get again just because those swallows were so hard to get video footage of as they were flying around uh, so I got more pictures this week than I did video and I hope you guys enjoy all of it let me know what you think down in the comments I had so much fun with these guys out here and there's been some other fun birds that I've been photographing in this area lately so I can't wait to show you in the coming weeks but uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for following along I'll see you next week thanks for tuning in we'll see you later